stuff it in here and I kind of also push and massage it. <gasps> carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants, no dairy. The next level cooking show. Carnivore recipes with meat, fish, seafood, eggs, gelatin, flavored seltzer, water and salt. From super easy to complicated. From quickly done to many hours in the kitchen. I always say everybody's body and brain are different and you gotta figure out what works best for you. The carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits, healing effects and is the best elimination diet. There are many different ways how to do carnivore. I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! Hello! Another episode of Carnivore Girl's Creative Carnivore Kitchen. So, I'm here. I have something cool planned today. Um, first, we're gonna preheat our ninja foodie. Here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I just click bake and start. So it's gonna preheat it up a little bit. And now over here, I have. I'm gonna make actually two things. Something with eggs, really cool, and um, a chicken thigh. And here I have ground lamb. I just defrosted it. It's actually grass-fed ground lamb, so you know what? Before I start cooking here, I... Oh man, I love... I need a bit of, a bit of salt. I love raw meat, and this is grass-fed. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay, now let's start. Taking off my rings. Yes, we're gonna get dirty today. You know what, I'm also gonna take off this shit. So yeah, usually in the kitchen you don't need all that jewelry and bling. So, let's get um, serious here. Seriously, serious. I've done that many times before, but not with ground lamb, what I'm gonna do here. So this is a chicken thigh, and I want to stuff ground lamb underneath the skin. I actually got that idea from Jamie Oliver with a, a whole um, chicken to stuff, well he stuffs it with um, herbs underneath the skin, and I stuff ground beef, uh, ground lamb this time. Once I did this with a chicken thigh, what I'm going to do now with fish. It was so good. I didn't think it would turn out that well, like fish, you know, but it was amazing. On Instagram, by the way, um, somewhere in one of the recipe folders. Okay, so I want to find, because I don't want to rip off the, the skin, but here, yeah, this is a good thing. So I'm going to make a pocket here. See? And here's my ground lamb, salt, mix that with salt, I guess I already washed my hands, so now I'm just gonna stuff it in here and I kind of also push and massage it. This chicken thigh gets a little bit of a massage. 
So I don't, as I said, I don't wanna uh, pull the skin off, but I still wanna try to kinda get it everywhere. So maybe over here a bit more. Oh, and I already see I'm not gonna use all the lamb. That means I have more for eating raw. Yum, 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 yum. Ah. But we don't wanna, uh, how do you say? I forgot the word, sparen. We, we don't wanna be conservative with the meat here. <laughs> I, sorry, I forgot the word. We just wanna put, put quite some some in it yeah oh look at that nice fat i think that's good yeah it's like maybe a little bit more so we already have it cool you can put in here whatever you want as long as it's carnivore of course and um now i'm just gonna you know me, I like salt, I need salt. I, I was really dizzy today at the gym. I, I worked out one and a half hours. I had a, a, a big gym session today. Uh, so I need salt, I need salt, but only pure salt. No bullshit in here. So, nice massage. And I, 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 I kind of close this. So, our Ninja Furi is preheated. I'm gonna turn you. Can you see it? So I hope you see the stuff. Okay, so our ninja foodie is preheated. We're gonna put this in here. Hope oh, is it gonna close? <laughs> no, it's not gonna close. It's too fat. So we're just gonna Turn this over. Doesn't matter for this part when it's not that high up. And now we gonna, I checked it on Instagram and I looked up an old recipe. So bake, yes, but we wanna um, 350 bake and for, uh, what was it? Ah, I, I, I wrote it down in my phone, but I'm, I think it was 15 minutes. No, it was 20 minutes. It was 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yes, it's chicken. So bake 350, 20 minutes. And while this is going on, we gonna do something really cool. So here I have to explain some things. Let me just put this away here a little bit. And we actually gonna be over here but first I wanna make tamagoyaki so yes Japanese and you uh, need eggs and usually with tamagoyaki you do it in a rectangular pan not square but like how do you sorry like rectangular pan yes i don't have that so i have a round pan now you can also make so tamagoyaki have to explain that maybe you have you put in a thin layer of egg so actually in a rectangular pan and then you roll it up you put it to the side i think it, no you you put it to the this side again then a thin layer of egg you roll the roll up on the thin layer put it thin layer roll like this and because you have a usually a rectangular pan then you have this it looks like a spring roll um, but made an egg roll yeah it is an egg roll but so again I don't have a rectangular pan I have this round pan so they also show you you can put a thin layer in the round pan then you just fold and Fold so you get a rectangular uh, shape, right? So you fold these in and then you do whatever I explain. I, I don't do that either. I have my own technique that I figured out because also I want it really, really thin. I try, 
Um, last time I tried to make uh, as many layers as possible when I made it. Um, so, but now, today, as I said, I made it before. I made it before with, with the egg. I made it before with just the egg white. And now I wanna do, I wanna separate the egg yolk and the egg white. And then I wanna do a layer egg yolk, a layer egg white, a layer egg yolk, a layer egg white. And hopefully then we have that uh, um, yellow, white, yellow, white colored pattern. So that's my goal for this tamagoyaki. Uh, sorry, I have to. We still have to go back here, I'm sorry, because I have to separate my eggs. So one egg actually goes um, very far with that because they said I, I tried to do it very, very thin layers, but I still I wanna prepare two eggs. Also, maybe I have, I need more yolk or white, I don't know, I just wanna prepare two eggs. Anyways, point this way. So separating eggs, um, I, my preferred way, your hands a little bit damp, not like wet, wet, but uh, like just a little bit damp. And, uh, so I like to do it with my hands, just the easiest for me. And here, you see this white thing, I, here, I, uh, get it between my fingers, I pinch my finger together, and then I try to, yeah, pinch it off. Here on this side is also one. Or sometimes I try just to, oh, now be careful, take it off like this, but don't um, damage the yolk. And this year it doesn't have to be very, very clean, so that's totally fine. That's just my favorite technique with uh, separating eggs with my hands. It's I, I do a lot, I also eat with my hands. Just you feel it much better. Hmm, I wanna get you, come on, I can get it on this hand. So, kinda pinch it off. Yep. Okay, let me just wash my hands, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm actually excited. I'm gonna, uh, I turned uh, on the heat on the stove uh, already, so it's gonna preheat a little bit, just very low. Um, uh, let's see, please. You know me, salt, salt here, salt here. I'm gonna stir this, this a bit. Uh, I always like that. We all do. Yeah. So I've never used, I, as I said, I've, I've made one with just the white, but never just yolk. Well, I'm not gonna do just yolk, I'm doing alternating. But still, um, so I, for my technique, I need a spoon. Now I'm gonna move you, give me a second, a little bit more than a second. So now we're over here. So I hope you can see this. I don't know, uh, for me it's probably better this side because I really want you to see that. Okay, um, 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 you don't see the swip, so, well yeah, I have the heat is kinda I usually play with the heat. Right now I have it on number three of six. And yeah, I forgot to, honestly, I forgot to read what kind of heat I used. The more lower heat, yeah, so two and a half, three. This is just, you know, I have tons of uh, tallow in my uh, freezer. Okay, so some tallow. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna try to make a really thin layer. So what should we start with, yolk or white? That will be the inside. 
I just want to start with white because I used white before and I feel like I have more white than yolk. So, yeah, it's a bit hard the way I'm doing it. You can't see shit. Because I really wanted a thin layer. So, and then uh, yeah whites are hard to work with because I stick together sorry I know you can't see me see it but I need to do that right now I feel like I need more <laughs> okay okay this is really bad I haven't done that for quite a while Oh my gosh, what am I doing? So, well, I'm trying actually to make this shape, as you can see. And, um, whoop. Uh, so I turn even, I turn to very low now. So I'm trying to make this uh, rectangular shape. Then you have to let it set of course okay i'm turning it up again a little bit to number two you see i'm playing around with the heat usually um i'm gonna start on this side and then you start folding it together and even here well i have baker's hands i like you want it you don't want it round you want it like like this you see like so and then you push it to the side. Uh, low again, it's way too much uh, heat. And you put more. Yeah, I, I work with my hands. I really, I know. I don't care about the heat. Now we're gonna use the yolk. Probably should have got it. Okay, that one should. Yeah, I'm doing very low now. So it's, it's gonna. Otherwise, it's gonna uh, get firm way too fast. So now, oh uh, yeah. See, I'm trying to, because I want it thin. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let's take it off the stuff. A little bit more here. Yeah, I, I probably have to make uh, separate another egg. Well, it depends how many layers you want. So, now I wait. So, I got a second spoon. And you don't have to wait until it's totally... Uh, that one is not that um, wide. But then we're gonna uh, cut the ends off. Ooh. Okay. Zhoot. Maybe you don't need uh, more fat. I wanna be sure, ah, especially for the white. Yeah, yeah, we want fat. So yeah, I have it like on low now, basically the lowest setting. So. Trying to be a bit better here this time. So here I have a gold cup. Maybe I can work with that one. So, so, so. I know it takes a while, but I'm telling you, it's so worth it. It's actually a you stay. It's so good. I feel like it needs to be wider here so that's good yeah i have it on the lowest and it's it's yeah it's uh oh it goes fast i also made it once then i put here some meat in it and then i started folding Ooh. oh there it goes oh, oh. now it's getting hot so. 
me still see over here or better here so I want to take it off right now so I feel like it's Oops. so I'm, I'm I got to hold this but I'm trying to We need a cameraman, camera woman, camera alien. I don't know what. I don't care what you are. Just someone that um, operates the camera. So, ooh, those are. Ooh, ah, doesn't matter. We'll get folded in anyways. Those are thin layers. As I said, I like really thin layers. Because then, if you have to fold those in, then it gets too thick and it's not nice. Uh. -uh. One of these days, I really want the tamagoyaki pan. I don't know um, how to pronounce it right. Tamagoyaki, whatever. Uh, tamagoyoshi. <laughs> tamagoyaki. I don't know. Um, so. I'm not racist, by the way. I just sometimes like black humor or racist jokes or whatever. I also joke about me, so... Nowadays, everyone gets always offended so fast about what you say, and I'm like, oh, who cares? Let's offend everyone. Ah. Yeah. What? Oh, okay. You stay. Didn't you learn that from last time? You got a stone. I know I'm a little bit in front of your face, your camera, the camera, but. Sometimes I have to, I just... My food is more important than you, you know? No, my food is... I mean, otherwise I can't show you, right? This is for you. I'm doing that all for you. Well, I'm eating it then. <laughs> it's not that pretty, but it doesn't have to be because it gets rolled up. I still want it like... Come on, here. I don't have to cut off too much on this side. Enough, a little bit of waiting. Our chicken, five more minutes. Huh, maybe the chicken will be done r right when I'm done here. Well, the chicken won't be done, then we have some other stuff to do with it. And of course, you can use this. You can use, of course, the Asian people, they use the, the chopsticks. That would be the real thing to do. I just like working with my hands. I like feeling it. Ooh, I like that. It's gonna be so cool. Ooh, yeah, it's, the yolk is so much easier to work with. Come on. So, ah. Come on. Okay, let's fill the holes, fill the gaps. Uh, uh. Yeah. Uh, it's probably our last, our last um, yolk, yolk um, layer. Ah, me and words sometimes. Yeah. Oh shit! I just destroyed it. That's not good. Nope. Ah, I should have made it wider. Oh well, the, the cut here will be beautiful. Okay, see I told you I have more white than yolk. I'm not going to use all the... Whoop. Whoop. Oh, this time actually... Wider here. We have still yolk. Come on. So, yeah, this is my technique. I know my technique is probably very um, 
stupid or like unconventional or I, I don't know it would be easier to just fill the whole pan but then it gets way too thick for me because I want thin 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 layers and believe me it actually does matter when you bite in this you feel the layers it's like so much tastier when it's uh, like really thin turn off the stove don't break this oh, a little bit it's okay because I have so such thin layers and we wanna take this out never done alternating it's gonna look really pretty um, we're gonna use that one it's actually a cheese cheese plate as I got it with like a cheese and I think I even well, if I'm already there I can show you here you see same pattern it's a cheese knife that came with it but I don't eat cheese because it's addictive and uh, I'm not a fan of dairy and especially pasteurized dairy is bullshit that's just dead so maybe one of these days raw <gasps> Ooh, raw cheese would be okay so now we gonna cut this open and look at it how should I cut it? Huh? Huh? So like this maybe. <gasps> Pretty! Like it. Next time I want it want yolk in the middle. I want a, a yellow middle. And ta-da! Wow, such great timing. No, I'm sorry, I'm still trying to figure out how is it the best so you can actually see it. Cool. So it means that's done. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, that didn't happen last time. But not like this. Uh -huh. I have to show you that. Uh, I need to squeeze you. Uh, squeeze next to you. Okay, how can I show you that? without burning myself it's like totally <gasps> see like totally got even fatter somehow the the yeah the of course the ground lamb expanded it so anyways i'm gonna turn this over Ooh, and um it's, it's too big to, I can't turn the rack over so it's closer to the top because, well, it, it got even bigger. So, but that's totally okay. So now we're gonna close and I'm gonna do broil and uh, three minutes. So, here. And then, you don't have to wait with me so i just turned it over three minutes broil then i'm gonna turn it over again and again three minutes broil so both sides three minutes broil and uh then it's ready to serve so i'm gonna wait here until that one is done and another three minutes and then i'll be back and i'm back with our meal here so as you saw i still have a uh, ground lamb left over so i just um some raw ground lamb with salt and i have a cookie cookie cutter here i always use stars and hearts so i want to use the moon this time just i really think it's gonna work well oh i have way too much of the uh, so 
next. And press this out. Yeah. Well, this this cutter is not very uh, like it's not like a star. It has a lot of angles and stuff. But so this is my plate. Ooh, ooh, look all the juice. Oh, do you see all that juice? You see that beautiful tamagoyaki? Ooh. So this will be really hot. I always uh, burn myself because I just can't wait to let it cool. But, eh. Come on. Maybe I need, oh, there is a knife. So, do you see how pretty our ground lamb? I usually like open it up as I cut it open a bit to let it. Uh, ooh, this this one looks much thicker than the last one I knew. Ah, oh, it's done. It's just an artery that when it's uh, like really red. But yeah, it's it's done. So I'll let it cool off a bit. Cut some. Ooh, ah, yeah, yeah. Look nice. I thought maybe it needs a bit longer, but no, no. So, okay, as I told you, with the tamagoyaki, you can really taste the layers. It's like biting into it. it it's so fun. Let's see if this time. Mmm, mm hmm. Mmm. It's just, well, it tastes like egg. Oh, really? No, but it's just with the white, when I did only whites, it was really cool to bite through because the, the yolk get much harder than the whites, right? You can even see it here. Like this is really um, uh, soft and here the yolk. So here really soft. The yolk is hard. But it's really fun to bite into this. So when I bit into the only white, it was like, oh, it was so, so cool. Mmm. Also here, those layers. So good. Eggs are not just eggs. Like, even only eggs, it so depends. I mean, you know, scrambled eggs um, taste totally different than a sunny side up. Or a hard boiled egg or a soft boiled egg. Boiled egg. Okay, let's try some of our Ugh, chicken. Wanna get cut a little bit here. Mm. Nice. There's a how do you say knorpel. I forgot the English word. Joint, uh, I forgot. Mmm. 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 Oh, yeah, the lamb. Oh, really good. Mmm. I love lamb. I had it before with beef, but now lamb. Mmm, really good. I love it. Oh, yeah. Cartilage. That's a knot ball. <laughs> mm. And also this, um, feel this goes together really well. This is more delicate. Also looks delicate. Was delicate to make. And this is more um, defty, um, rich because of the ground lamb. And well, um, yeah, it's, it's the brown, the dark meat of chicken with the skin. It's more, and this together, oh, then we forgot our moon. Mmm, nom, nom. Mmm, it smells up with some moon. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. I'm gonna bite into the knorpel now. Oh, hey, hello here. Mmm, oh yeah. I also love raw meat with cooked meat um, together. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy my meal now, but I can so recommend that. Both do it both together or individually. If you don't have time to do both together, just do this or just do that. And as I mentioned also, um, it was, I think, swa, just white fish pureed stuffed into or or little pieces i don't know with the fish it was really good too mm. okay i will see you next week for another episode with me in my kitchen here creating something cool something next level because we're the next level cooking show yep see you next week bye Thanks for watching! If you try out this recipe, please tag me and let me know how you like it. Subscribe, share, like, comment, follow me on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. See you next week in my next episode of Carnivore Girl's Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plans, no dairy, the next level cooking show.